Now those of you who joined last week's stream will remember I had a bit of a spiel where I talked about my feelings on making a video about Stan Lee and you know sort of I guess commemorating him after he passed away. Uh, those of you who attended will remember I didn't want to do a video on Stan Lee because everyone was doing a video on Stan Lee and it felt like I don't know, taking advantage of the situation, which I, I don't like the feeling of, and I didn't want to just make a video to talk about being sad about losing Stan Lee, when in reality I, I don't feel sad that we lost Stan Lee, I feel happy we had Stan Lee, and that was where I was going to leave it. However, I do this thing where every now and then I buy random crap off eBay that I think would make for a fun video idea, and a couple of weeks back I ordered one of these, a babushka doll, which I think I need to, I think I need to loosen how tight it gets, but it basically it's one of these Russian doll things where you open it up and it's got little, oh, that's awful. Anyways, it can, you, you get the idea. This arrived in the mail uh, at the end of last week and I had no concept for what I would do with this babushka doll and then I realized a Stan Lee Babushka doll is kind of perfect. So I'm going back on what I said, but I'm not going to make a sad Stan Lee video. I thought it would be fun. Just a bit of a, a chance to just pop in and make an upbeat, fun video with a Stan Lee and some of his most iconic characters in the different levels of the Babushka doll. Because I feel like that's a really fun idea and it's hard to not smile when you say the word Babushka doll which I think Stan Lee would appreciate. Um, and I think it would be a fun time to sort of like in the time lapse where I'm making the characters, maybe sort of share some like trivia and really fun historical references to the creations of some of the characters and just about Stan Lee. So I thought it would be like a fun way to commemorate and thank the universe for such an amazing guy. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I've had to readjust my schedule to fit that in and make it work because I want to do it now that this has arrived and I'm excited to do it. So I'm going to do it today and probably tomorrow as well. The first thing I need to do is sand the insides of these back a bit. God damn. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God, yes. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, that's so much better. See, I have the weird habit of buying random crafty crap off eBay because I like having random things to make videos with. And this babushka doll arrived right at the end of last week. And I realized that an homage to Stan Lee in a babushka doll would be kind of perfect. So, let's come up with uh, some of the, some sketches for this babushka doll. I'm not going to show this drawing process in the actual video, but I thought because this is a behind the scenes on the vlog channel, I might do it with you guys. These are not to scale, obviously, but we have a big three and then they obviously get smaller that one doesn't have a middle line let's start off with stan lee we've got to have classic aviators and he's also got the big mustache and i figure we could have it <laughs> be his neck i guess we pull his top off let's go like super chibi so he'll have like little little hands like this all right so next we have the hulk i don't know should i have i feel like his shorts should be around this line here and I guess because his like proportions are so like bulky, maybe I could just like have big like Hulk arms on the edge of the babushka. He could just have like a little head. <laughs> Is that gonna look weird? Probably. <laughs> it looks weird like that. Wait, what's an alternative? I gotta see. Then his body is so little. You know, Hulk pants. I don't know. Now I'm conflicted. Maybe it'll look. I need to go look at the babushka. All right, in traditional babushka dolls, it's not like always the, the neck or the center of the torso or whatever. And in this one, you can see that uh, my sketch doesn't quite work because there's too much headroom in the actual doll. So if that's just the head, it's a very, very big head. So I guess uh, I guess we're just gonna have to not worry about where the line is. So we have something 
a little like this. Maybe he can be uh, holding something like, uh, I don't know, like a comic book and a pen or something, you know, like he's writing. You give him little black shoes and his pants. And I think something like that should be pretty good when it's colored in. All right, next. All right, so I've done some rough designs. I changed my mind with the first one. I was gonna do the Hulk to start off with, but uh, I didn't want all of them to be from the Avengers. I wanted to switch up the properties that they're from. And the first uh, comic book series that he wrote when he sort of branched out and started as what eventually turned into Marvel Comics was the Fantastic Four. So I figured that being the first one and the thing being the big dude from that series, I'll start off with that, go to Iron Man, Spider-Man, Wolverine and Ant-Man, because it's the little one. Anyways, that is the plan. I am now going to base coat these. Uh, I've done a light spray paint, but I'm not a fan of how that's covering the wood texture, so I'm gonna go with a house paint. That way, I'm fairly certain that the wood won't absorb much of the color that I'll put on after, and I'll get stuck into the actual painting. I've never seen an ID chip outside the skin before, but it seemed legit. Right, I said, closing my fist around the envelope. I'm gonna need a couple of lads to flip our shuttle over. I started heading back to the docking bay, gesturing to a couple of the burlier, less argumentative looking members of the throng. All right, that is today done, and this is what I got done in a day. I'm pretty happy with this so far. It's obviously halfway uh, and that's all I'm going to show as far as progress goes because further than that will give away too much. But you, you get the idea. I mean, the Stanley's going to be in the thumbnail in a more finished state. So this isn't giving away too much anyway, uh, but the characters on the inside will be. I'm hoping that won't take as long because they're smaller, uh, but also I had to spend a bit of time today doing some video approvals and some uh, prep for the babushka. So I'm hoping I'll be able to finish this tomorrow, which you'll find out shortly, because I'm going to combine it into this vlog, because it's all one activity. So I'm going to do that cool, trendy vlog transition hand thing. <sighs> I guess it's uh, straight back to work then. Smoke, I exclaimed, then blushed at the sound of it. Megan shot me a glare. It's her weakness, I whispered. She always avoids people who are smoking. The catacombs smell of dust and condensation. Tia is always talking about the scientific foundation of the epics, he said. I don't think they can be explained that way. Oh, wow. My eyes are strained from two days straight of tucking into this. I am really happy with progress. I'll give you another little sneak peek. And when I say little sneak peek, I mean little. <laughs> I haven't done line work yet, but this is... Uh, Ant-Man. <laughs> so uh, progress is coming along nicely. I've done all of the base colors and I have the line work yet to do, which I'll finish up tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, I normally would be streaming, but unfortunately I'm not streaming. We have a doctor's appointment for little B and Mrs. Jazza. So uh, unfortunately it'll be postponed until the week after. Wait, no, I won't see you the week after because I'm heading into state for a panel. Two weeks away from streaming. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. So this coming stream, so tomorrow and then the week after, won't be up. So I'll make sure to leave that as a note on the uh, the Twitch page and in the Discord. Uh, my apologies. I might make a little appearance in Discord tomorrow while I'm painting, just to have a bit of a voice chat with a couple of people or something and hang out for a little bit to make up for the lack of stream. Uh, but yeah, apologies for that. I also won't be vlogging tomorrow because I'll be just finishing this and I can't show, show you any more of it anyway and I'm away for the doctor's appointment. But next time we have a vlog, things are going to look a little different because I just got the Galaxy Note 9. I've always regretted not getting the Note 8 when I was choosing between the Note 8 or the, the Galaxy 8 Plus and I chose the 8 Plus and then regretted it. So I got the Note 9, so I can now doodle on, on my phone, but also huge storage capacity, so that's better for the vlog, and it'll be, hopefully, a better camera, so things might look a little different. I just thought I'd mention that for some reason. But anyways, thank you all for watching. This has been fun. Good progress so far. Little reminder, here's Ant-Man. 
And uh, that's all you can see for now because I don't want to give too much away. But we're going to be power editing this so that hopefully not too long after this vlog comes out, the actual video will come out hopefully within 12 hours of that. So keep your eyes peeled. And uh, thank you for watching this vlog and I will see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.